hey everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel daniel here in today's video i'll be sharing with you how to make this super easy and tasty shawarma recipe at home so without talking too much let us dive right into the video when it comes to making the perfect tasting shawarma there are three things to keep in mind the vegetables the sauce and the chicken now we're going to start with the vegetables i'm using cabbage for this i know some people like to use just lettuce but i'm going to use a combination of cabbage carrots and lettuce all i'm doing now is just to slice it really really thinly i don't like my cabbage too chopped or anything like that if you like that that's fine you can do you i'm going to slice that and then set aside now i'm also going to do the same thing to my lettuce and also to my carrot for my carrots i'm just going to shred it using my food processor so you can also do that it's just easy now for the sauce you need mayonnaise ketchup and a bit of sweet chili sauce i know some people do not like sweet chili sauce or do not have any idea that you can actually use sweet chili sauce in your shawarma sauce i'm telling you now that you can actually do it and it works really really good so all you want to do is just to combine all of this and then mix for a bit i'm also going to add a bit of suya spice to this this is optional i just love the hint of pepper in my shawarma sauce if you don't like it you do not you don't have to do it at all so you can just keep this part entirely all you want to do now is mix this until you see that the sauce is really really smooth and then you set aside for your shawarma chicken chicken breast is recommended and you want a chicken breast or you want chicken breast that has a little bit of fat in it or some fat in it do not worry about removing the fat the fat is really needed because we need that flavor too because fat actually brings in more flavor like in your food so you need that in your shawarma i'm going to cut this and then set them aside this is what the chicken looks like after cutting or after slicing and now i'm just going to season this is where you go wild maybe not wild actually but this is where you do not manage to season anything you really want to make sure that your chicken is properly seasoned because you're still going to mix this with the vegetables and the sauce and you don't want to make your shawarma bland at all shawarma is never bland if it is bland it is not good i'm also going to add a bit of vegetable oil and sesame seed oil i've been obsessed with sesame seed oil recently which is why i added it here you don't have to use it you can use any other type of oil now all i'm gonna do is just mix this and combine thoroughly you want to make sure that this thing is properly coated if your chicken does not change color you need to season more basically that's what i'm trying to say here now after seasoning that you can decide to marinate this but i did not bother to marinate at all i just went straight up into cooking i'm going to eat up my oil in a pan and then i'm just going to fry this until I know that my chicken is properly cooked now another trick is to make sure that you're not overcrowding the pan with chicken at all you want the chicken to fry not cook if you overcrowd the pan it's going to cook and not fry and then you won't get that crunch that you usually get in like chicken um, shawarma chicken so you want to be very very careful now i'm just going to fry this until it is really really good and i know my chicken is done because i'm nigerian we like to cook it a little bit more so i'm just going to do that here and then also sets that aside as you can see we've completed all parts of our chicken shawarma or our, the essential parts of making the shawarma actually now all you want to do is combine everything that we've prepped before now so you're combining your cabbage your carrots the lettuce the chicken you guys look at the juice from this chicken look at how juicy this thing is if your chicken is not that juicy you are wrong look at how creamy this thing is you want exactly this so please check the description box for the complete ingredients and their measurements i'm going to leave them there now all you want to do is mix this thoroughly please make sure you're mixing and combining this thoroughly don't make like i don't want to say so you do not want a situation actually where there's sauce one side and then there's chicken on the other side look at what i've done here that's exactly what you're looking for now for my shawarma i like using the actual shawarma bread the other one does not work at all that thing is i don't know i want to say trash but i'll just leave it at that so you want to make sure you're using this particular type of bread and you're just going to add a bit of the shawarma sauce we made earlier to make sure that your shawarma does not bust open and just to make sure that the wrap is actually good so to that you're now going to add the mixture we made just now or the vegetable and chicken mixture now you do not want to do too much please have as much shawarma wrap as possible without making a mess of this roll that in and then get a pan i'm using this griddle pan here i've had it for years now at this point i can't remember where i bought it from 
I'm just going to heat it up and then flip it over until it looks something like this. And that is it, honestly. Your shawarma is ready. If you like this video, please do not forget to leave the like button or click the like button. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Do not forget to leave a comment. You can also let me know what recipes you want to see on my channel. I post recipe videos twice every week. So if you're new here, please subscribe to the channel. YouTube tells me that people who watch my video are not subscribed. Please, please, please subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video. Enjoy.